Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in your country. It's Kylie Vatucci here with you, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And I am very excited to be with all of you here today. I can see there's lots of you popping on already. Samantha and Carrie and all our usuals. Megan, Valerie, Charlotte, Denise. So good to see all of you. Now, if you are here live and you can't see the live comments it could be because you're not logged in to youtube you have to be logged in to see and to comment so make sure you do that and that's the same if you're watching the replay too so and big shout out to all our replay watchers just say hashtag replay if you're watching a little bit later because i'd love to see who watches from the background our little friendly stalkers in the background Hi, Arleen and Anita, Margaret. Oh, it's lovely to see all of you on here. And Kim from Oklahoma. I love seeing everyone from around the world jump on. So exciting. So today I am really, really excited because it's one of those sessions that I am doing from absolute scratch. I've actually pulled out probably majority of my craft room. It doesn't look like it behind me, but, <laughs> but it feels like it here because we're going to do some love it chop it together now some of you haven't done love it chop it then where have you been welcome welcome to love it chop it love it chop it is basically helping us to use our designer series paper rather than hoarding it because there's no point in getting paper and then not using it and i think the key thing what we've realized over the years is the thing with our paper is we love it so much and it's so pretty that we're scared we're going to chop it wrong it's like a confidence thing right we're like don't want to waste it don't want to use it the wrong way want to use it the best way possible and so that creates a lot of insecurity and fear we don't want you to be afraid and we don't want you to not use it we want you to use your designer series paper so if we can help you have creative confidence and get chopping, then this makes us very happy because you just continue to tell yourself, I can always buy more. Kylie gives me permission to buy more paper. <laughs> Once you chop it, you get to go shopping again. That's your reward for being very good and chopping your paper. <laughs> So today I'm actually going to be using, oh, Susie's here. Hey, Susie, nice to see you. And uh, we've got Jan in the house, Marilyn. Oh, so lovely seeing you all, Nessa. Helen, hi, Helen. I was watching your daughter the other day. She's so much fun. <laughs> and Marie, oh, good to see Connie and Patty and Regina. Rachel, hey, Rachel. Debbie as well. So this is the paper. I have actually grabbed a pack because I did actually use a pack of this paper already because it's so beautiful. I used it for my crazy crafters, my team, crazy crafters team swaps. <gasps> Isn't that cool? Who wants one? You just have to join our team. Don't you love the merch? I love the merch. Grab your beverageinos, people. <laughs> grab a beverage you know. but this is the paper isn't it absolutely gorgeous I just love 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 it actually I'm just gonna move my microphone over this side a little bit just in case you can't hear me properly but you'll all let me know because you're all amazing but I think it will sound better if it comes over here facing me but yes this daffodil afternoon paper is absolutely stunning and it's celebration paper only so you can't buy it you can only earn it so it's with every 90 dollars order here in australia that you can earn this gorgeous paper and we're going to do some love it chop it with it today oh risa said love it chop it's a game changer <laughs> i'm using more paper than ever before and i don't know if there's something oh emory said i'm echoing so hopefully the ec that stops the echo you just let me know you're on the job, Anne-Marie. <laughs> Tell me if it's a bit better. <laughs> um, but yes, it's a really, really great thing to learn because sometimes um, we just don't necessarily know what we want to do 
creatively. Um, we may not have a lot of mental energy um, and we want to create, but we find it a little bit overwhelming, particularly if we've got a lot of things to choose from. So Love It, Chop It is great because it keeps um, things really simple and you can make an absolutely beautiful card very, very simply with Love It, Chop It. So um, good. Pull it out, Susan. Susan said she still has her paper intact. So this is a really good opportunity for some of you. If you have a pack of paper that's still in the wrap, this is a good time to pull it out and let's do some chopping together. I know it's scary. I know you love it, but you can just get more, okay? And you can do it with me. I will give you the measurements today. You don't have to have my card templates, although it will really help you if you do. Everyone who has my card templates are like, oh, what did I do without these in my life up until now? <laughs> come on, come on, Ginny, you can do it. You can shop. I know it's hard, but you're not alone. There's a lot of people here who are recovering hoarding paper hoarders. We're in recovery. It's still scary but we've overcome it. <laughs> it's a real thing. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. <laughs> so my card templates, if you want to get those, these will help you with measurements and they will help you with that creative com confidence that I was telling you about. Because a lot of the problem that we have with chopping our paper is not knowing what size to chop it, right? It's like, what? <sighs> Where, how do I chop it? Now, the cool thing with Stampin' Up! is they have created car, uh, paper that is based on the Love It! Chop It! principle. Because we've had a lot of staff join our Love It! Chop It! workshop, which if you want to join our Love It! Chop It! workshop, you can join here. There's Jessie going, chop, chop! <laughs> Jessie is a recovering chopper non chopaholic now we are a chopaholics <laughs> so love it chop it workshop this is a great little group to help you with your chopping issues you can sign up for that one there <laughs> yes if you're in a hurry it's like whack, whack, whack. just chuck it all together um, if you've got a big stack of cards that you want to make so for those of you that shop with us this month we did a love it chop it special with the artfully composed paper and look how gorgeous this is like would you look at these cards and go oh Kylie's cheating again no you'd look at this paper and go oh, designer series paper is so pretty and like all I had to stamp was just the sentiment everything else is chopping chopping and sticking and look how beautiful these cards look so so pretty so if you shop with us this month you'll receive the artfully composed tutorial normally valued at 22 australian and you'll get one of these handmade cards sent to you as well so it's a good opportunity to go shopping but are they beautiful so we're going to do something similar to that and we'll also play around and see what else we can step it up if you want to it doesn't have to stay simple you can see i've added a layer underneath and I've made them a little bit smaller, but I'll show you how to do all those different sort of chops. There's all different chops. Yeah, Essie, there's so many paper hoarders in the world. You're not alone. Sue, I understand. Bruno used to say to me, Kylie, you are one step away from a fire hazard or an episode of hoarders. There's so much paper in this house. <laughs> I think the stack went up to my shoulder. <laughs> it was like, why do I have so much paper here? I need to use this paper. And Stampin' Up! always brings out new paper and it's always beautiful. So don't stress. We have this like scarcity mentality. Like we're suddenly going to run out of paper. It's all going to be okay. <laughs> we're going to have paper. Between all of us, we will all have paper. We can provide one another paper even if Stampin' Up! ran out. <laughs> Ginny, I'm getting out of this, getting out the same Desire Series paper because it hasn't been opened yet. And I have seven packs of it. Yes, Ginny, this is your time. This is your time to shine. <laughs> oh, Emery, what did you say? You said, never mind. Is it all good, is it? You've checked my sound. Testing, testing. <laughs> now, what did I want to share with you? I want to share a, a, share a link. Oh, yes, ordering. 
So if you want to place an order, <laughs> you can click there if you live in Australia and we will provide you with that beautiful tutorial. And if anyone else wants to go check out the new tutorials, woohoo! They're beautiful. The artfully composed tutorial is amazing. I did a fun fold card that I think you want to get your hands on. So tutorial bundle, go check that out and have some fun. So has everyone got their beverageina? Is everyone ready for a bit of chopping? A bit of love it, chop it. And I've got to organise myself. I've been a bit, um, a bit busy. I was going to say slack and I changed my word. No, Kylie, don't speak negatively about yourself. You're not slack. You're busy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Jessie. <laughs> so I have a pin that I really want to put up on our Shopify store. At the moment, we can only send it to Aussies. But how cool is this? So maybe today will motivate me to put that up. Because, you know, who doesn't want a pin like that? Who doesn't want to love a chopper pin? Who wants one? Actually, I should send one. Hashtag love it chop it who wants to win one you have to be in australia though sorry but anyway the other one if anyone else isn't from australia do hashtag love it chop it and i'll send you a tutorial for free so everyone can win something right we don't want to have people missing out just because you don't live in australia <laughs> paper hoarders rehab yes welcome to paper hoarders rehab we are here today to assist you with some difficulties you have with chopping paper I right hear. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what are the issues that are troubling you with chopping your paper. <laughs> Kelly, I can't watch this. I chop my paper so I don't have to chop it. <laughs> Bye Kelly. Bye Kelly. <laughs> nice having you here. She's going to miss out, man. She's going to be so upset. She's missing out on some really good stuff. <laughs> some people are really funny. <laughs> Can I just say that? <laughs> they miss out on life because they think they know. But she, she doesn't know. She doesn't know what she's about to miss out on. <laughs> Kylie, do you ever see a bundle and think it isn't that great? But then you start, then you, someone works with it and you end up loving it. Yes, absolutely. That happened with us with the um, the pansies. I was like, ah, I'm not a fan of the, the pansies. Now I just, I just love it. I made so many beautiful cards with it. Yay, get those love it, chop it hashtags everywhere. And when you go online, if you put something on Instagram with paper or something on Facebook with paper, make sure you use this hashtag so we can all connect with each other. Because did you know that if you use a hashtag on Facebook or on Instagram, you can click on a hashtag and it takes you to all of everyone else's posts. Isn't that fun? But I'll give you all a tip because I can see something happening here. When you use a hashtag, no spaces. Otherwise, it breaks the hashtag. We don't want a broken hashtag. The hashtag has to be all together, all one word, like Diane did. So those of you that put a space in, try again. <laughs> We're doing training today on hashtags too. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> We're going to have fun today, Christine. <laughs> we're getting, we're preparing you. We're loosening, we're loosening your emotional muscles to start chopping. <laughs> we need help. Help. Help with chopping. <laughs> so let's have a little look here and see if we can start. I should have grabbed Bruno's trimmer because my trimmer is so dirty at the moment. I'm just scraping off all the glue bits. <laughs> It's very well used. That's all I'll say. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so nice, Sue. You love the pin. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's like so many pretty colours and it's just, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It would go with any outfit because there's so many colours. <laughs> so here we go. Let's jump on in here. 
Now, just a reminder, I don't know how many of you have done it, but I did see a lot last week. But have you all signed up for the online stamping retreat with Lisa Curcio? Do tell me. Tell me if you've signed up interest. And you should have received a, a email with more details and all the time zones. So if you haven't received that, let me know. Because on my end, it looks like everyone's received an email that's registered. If you haven't, I'll put here online stamping retreat. Yeah, if you haven't received any info, let me know and get get signed up. I'll pin that link up the top so that you it gives you time. Look at all these beautiful love it chop it hashtags coming through. So exciting. We love to love it chop it. We love to love it chop it. <laughs> Susan's in the house. Hi, Susan. So good to see you. Okay, are we ready? Deep breaths, everyone. <sighs> We're about to chop. No, it's scary, but we can do this together. Okay? So the first step in our process is opening the bag. <laughs> we have to open, okay? <laughs> Twelve packs of daffodil delight Ginny that is hilarious okay you ready oh you signed up good yay you signed up good Sue it's pinned up the top I pinned it right up the top so you should see it on the top Carolyn registered but didn't receive an email so just check your junk mail just in case you spam but um message me if you need any de any more details and we'll try and fix it but I'd say it's gone to spam. Okay, ready? <gasps> the paper, the first step. Okay, this is the first step. Give yourself a pat on the back if you've done that. That's a big deal. This is the beginnings, right? It's taking the cling off. Taking the plastic wrap off is a big deal. Now, our next step is working out do we normally go landscape or do we normally go portrait with our cards? Like you can see here, this is portrait, but some of my cards do go landscape. Now, the cool thing with this paper is you could actually get away with going landscape with this, but you can see the flowers are pointing up a specific way. So you do need to make sure that you are really thinking you're thinking which way do I want to go do I want to go landscape or portrait I'm a portrait girl but the cool thing with Stampin' Up is you have two sheets so you could do one landscape and one portrait if you wanted to another thing that you could do if you're not going to be using it right away from a storage point of view it's really cool to chop this in half so do six by twelve and it just will save like already you've halved your space so that is really cool so check that out okay oh melissa signed up as a hobby demo congratulations melissa welcome to the family <laughs> welcome to the stamp it up family <laughs> so are we ready <laughs> i was waiting for you to sing i like to love a jump it I like to love it, chop it. <laughs> Lisa is a fantastic teacher, Pat. She's really good. Yeah, you learn a lot. We've learned so much from Lisa over the years. So Megan says she uses portrait mainly. I'm, I'm sort of a portrait girl, but, you know, I know some of you could be landscape. So let's have a look. This is my card template. This is my go-to card template size for both. Um, metric and for our imperial peeps or standard size cardstock so one of the key things to remember is that we've got two different sizing now this one here this inches one is not for Australia this is only for the USA and for uh, Canada this one so if you use inches normally don't use this one for now I think I do have like another one but I think I pulled them out. But yeah, if you need help with inches for Australian sized A4 cardstock, message me <laughs> because it's neither one of these two. <laughs> this is where a lot of confusion comes in, right? Is because there's lots of different measurements for lots of different countries. 
So if you wanted to say make this paper landscape, you can get our little card templates and you can see here that it's going to be the larger size that you're going to be chopping. If you want to go portrait, then it's going to be the smaller size that you're going to be chopping. Okay, so that is the nicest. Now, Diana said, what about when we want to make a slimline card? And that is a very, very good question, right? And that's where your little 6 by 12 comes in really handy. You may decide, I'm going to keep, you know, one of these four pieces. So you've got, you know, two sheets here. You cut them all 6 by 12 and you're just going to keep one side at 6 by 12. And then that will be good for 3D projects, that will be good for slimline cards. Like most 3D projects, you can actually get away with a 6 by 12. And if it means you have to do a little bit of gluing, or you can order a whole new pack just for 3D items and just for slimline cards. You know, that's another option. But, you know, if we're going to get stuck, because this is another this is another roadblock. We're like, oh, but what if I want to use it for something else? And then we don't even use it for anything else. And if that's you, it's like, well, I'm better off using it for cards than not at all. I haven't done any 3D. Let's be honest with myself. I'm not going to it in quite a while. <laughs> so let's just chop my paper, do a whole stack of love it, chop it. And then if I use it, then I get to do 3D projects or then I get to do slimline cards. I get to mix it up. But if you're not using it at all, not chopping this, you need to start somewhere where you're not overwhelmed. You have a set purpose in, in mind. You know what you're doing and you're doing it with confidence. If we have all these other ideas and we're freaking ourselves out, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to use it for this and I'm not going to be able, I saw this thing on Pinterest like 10 years ago and I really want to make it. <laughs> I haven't made it yet. <laughs> Why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Just chop it. <laughs> now, this is a perfect example, this sheet here, of Stampin' Up! listening to Love It, Chop It. Like, this is a thing, people. Stampin' Up! are watching Love It, Chop It. And they have realized that this is a really good way to show you how to chop your 12 by 12. Because what we're going to do here is it's telling us where to chop. So we're going to chop through the center right chop and then automatically we have six card fronts when we chop them down and let me show you should we do some chopping together i want to show you this one because it's so exciting when i first saw stampin up come out with this i was so thrilled because it was like oh they're listening to love it chop it <laughs> they're listening to the crazed woman <laughs> So first thing we do, just regular six by 12 chop. Can you do that, everyone? Ready? Just in half. If you've got the trimmer, it's right up to the edge. Don't be scared and you're doing it through that very vanilla base there. So then we end up with two of these and this one kind of does force you to go portrait um, because it's just so pretty with that white space up the top which is fine. You can still do um, landscape with this one, but it is very much a design that's for portrait. Now from here, there's two things that you can do because it's going to be a bit too tall. So you can decide where you're going to chop off the little bit extra. So in the US, you can see here, it's quite a bit higher. So you might decide to go a bit of both where you're chopping a little bit of the green and a little bit of the very vanilla at the top with Australia or rest of the world other than Canada and the US we don't have that much left because we our cards are quite tall and skinny we really are we're tall and skinny not really no <laughs> just our cards <laughs> so I think it'll be good to chop a little bit from the top because there's quite a bit of you know vanilla space there we won't call it white space because it's not white space so you decide what's going to be the best chop for you so as I said you can do a little bit and I'll, I'll probably do a little bit of both for you just to show you 
But if you know what your size is, so for Australia, it's 14.4 centimetres. So what I'm going to do is just come over here, you know, totally eyeballing. I'm not even picking a number. I'm just randomly just making sure I'm not going down as low as 14.4. And then you can just chop off a little piece here. Now, don't think you're going to waste that. We're going to use all of this paper. All of the scraps are going to come in very handy as well. And then what you're going to do is go to the size that you want, which in Australia is 14.4. And we're going to chop it because it's going to, going to chop off that little piece there. So in the US, you know, you might have a lot bigger piece left over. Um, so it's up to you if you have our card templates and you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. I think it's the Cajun Craze size. This one here is also a good one. So that gives you a full cards front size, five and a half by four and a quarter. So that's a good size as well. If you wanted to take a screenshot of that one, that's the Cajun Craze. Yeah. Now, Melissa asked a very good question. She said, can Canadians sign up for the spring 2022 retreat? Absolutely. Anyone worldwide can join and we'll have measurements for everyone. Like I'm doing today, we will make sure everyone has the measurements that they need. Yes. So either one of those is going to be good. So you're ready to chop the next piece. Are some of you chopping with me? I hope you are. <laughs> It was really fun. Yes, even Patty. So she's done four by six inches, right? Really great size. Really great size. Highly recommend that. That's a really, like, a no-brainer. And that actually even works for um, Australian size as well because if you look at Australian, we're just, like, sort of on the cusp of four inches and then we're probably at about five and a little bit over five and a half, probably more five and seven, eight, uh, five and three quarter inches. So four by six helps for everyone. So if you just wanted to go right ahead, chop a whole lot up where you're not thinking at all, four by six. Totally, totally agree with Patty. Whatever helps you get chopping and then you can cut it down to size to the one that you want. Because I've been doing this for a while, I go straight to my card front size, which I know is going to be my poppy parade layer because I'm I'm confident with that now. I know what I'm doing. And then it helps me to have a larger piece left over. It sort of is a bit more useful with the piece that's left over. But, you know, four by six, if that's going to get you chopping, you do it. <laughs> do that. <laughs> now our next chop, the next cut is the deepest. No, the first cut is the deepest. We've done the first cut. So the next cut is going to be our smallest size. So in Australia, that's 10 centimeters. In the US and Canada, well, everywhere else in the world except for Canada and the US, it's 14.4 in Canada and the US it's four inches okay so you're ready to cut it at four inches or ten centimeters here we go chop keep going so once you've done that first cut it actually is the deepest because after that it's like wee and before you know it boom and keep these keep these all the scraps before you know it we have three beautiful card fronts here ready to go all you'd have to do now is just stamp a sentiment in the corner. That's it. And stick it on some cardstock, which we're going to do. We'll show you how to do that. But isn't it the best? And it's such pretty paper. Like, why not? So again, I'm just cutting a little bit off the top. And then we'll come in again and do the 14.4 or for the US 5.25. And then we'll do our smallest chop, making sure 10 centimeters for our Aussie and rest of the world, 10 and 10. And like I said, you don't have to chop your whole piece down, <clears throat> but when you look at this paper, you know, it really is asking 
to be chopped into card fronts. Like Stampin' Up! have designed it that way. And, you know, really it is designed for portrait. So this one I think is a great one to start with because it's telling you the parameters in which it needs to be cut out. Unless, of course, you're going to use the other side, then, you know, use the other side. But I think that this is just such a great piece to start with because it's Stampin' Up! has given us the parameters of what it's going to be used for. Need to do this on my page with some designer series paper. You do that, Leslie. <laughs> Patty, chop, chop, chop. Yay! Did anyone chop with me? And Leslie said she found these really helpful. Is that the card templates, Leslie? The card templates, honestly, they helped me so much. The only reason why I created them was because I was doing tutorials. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is driving me nuts. Yes, so Jennifer says she chops at 4 inches and 5.25. It leaves a small piece, 1.5 inches, and then she uses that those pieces. Because you could do scrappy strips, like Bruno's scrappy strips. You could do um, just pieces of designer series paper. You can use that that layer in the back, like on the side of a card, like where you have like a little lip of paper showing. I think this one here that I did shows you how to do that, where you have like that little strip down the side. Look how beautiful that looks. So that's, you know, that's what you can do with those little extra pieces in the US. We don't have as much paper in Australia, but, you know, you can easily convert. Because what you can do from here, even though this is absolutely beautiful as it is, if you wanted to sort of add a little bit of an extra layer, you can just chop the edge and then you, you've got this other piece behind here that you can use. So, yeah. Megan, no, she's not chopping. Is your shoulder still sore, Megan? Sorry. You've been having a tough time with your shoulder, haven't you? Not fun. Me Megan is actually very good. She says she's not confident, but she's very good. She just has to do it. Just do it. <laughs> hey, Rick. <laughs> Welcome to Love at Chopper Therapy. Welcome, Rick. Now, tell me, do you have a problem with chopping your paper, Rick? Because we're here for you. Okay. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> Are you scared? What feelings do you feel in your body? Where is your fear located? Is it located in your body somewhere? We'll help you with it. We'll help you with your chopping experience here in the Kylie Batucci YouTube channel. <laughs> so should we chop this one? Because it's so pretty. <gasps> so it's the prettiest ones that are the hardest ones to chop, right? So this is, this is the scary ones. But when you keep chopping, keep doing it, you'll get used to it. And then you'll know. So Megan said, why the two different sizes? So that's a very good question. So in Australia, we use what's called A4 cardstock. That is our base cardstock. So when you look at the base card size, this size here is 21 centimetres by 27.9, I think it is. That's the Australian, or oh, is it 29.7? I always get them confused. Yes, 29.7, because it's just under 30. It would be very handy if it was 30 centimeters. So this is the paper in Australia. In the US, it's, what is it in the US? Eight and a half by 11? Is that what your size in Australia, in the US and Canada is? So their base size of cardstock is different to the rest of the world. Just, you know, just to create some confusion in the stamping world. <laughs> you, you got over that years ago watching. Oh, I'm so happy, Rick. We went through therapy together. <laughs> so because the card base, the actual cardstock is different, it's going to make a completely different size card. So that creates a lot of confusion. So if you live in the US, do not follow someone from the UK chopping measurements because it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so you have to be 
aware of these different sizes. Oh, Cindy, we feel for you. It is scary cutting the first piece, but it's going to be okay. All right, we'll do it with you. I'll do it with you with this one. Eight and a half by 11. Yes. Oh, thank you. So it's very confusing. That's what creates all the confusion because our card base is completely different. Yeah. Hello, Cindy. So should we do, we'll do a landscape this time so that we mix it up. So if you're going to do landscape, 5.25 Canada and US, rest of the world, we're going to be chopping at 14.4. Okay, you ready? You got your size. You got your size. So it's going to be the biggest one. Whatever the biggest one, that's what we're going to be chopping together. <laughs> Love it, chop it. So biggest size, I'm about to do it at 14.4 because I'm an Aussie. <gasps> Ready? Hold your breath. Here we go. <gasps> yes. We did it, everyone. Did you do it? Did you do it, Cindy? I hope so. I hope so. Now we do the small ones. Ready? Small, which in Australia is 10 centimetres or 4 inches for everywhere else. Small. Small. So now we have all of these beautiful landscape pieces. Aren't they gorgeous? So we can just stick them down and we have landscape cards. Now again, we're going to come in here and do 14.4. And this one has extra because we've chopped the other side. And this is really good for using as a like a backing piece. So we can even do like a chop it down after and I'll show you how to do that because it's really cool like you've got a lot of flexibility once you chop it you can yeah the world is your oyster chop I know it's so much fun and this is a really cool thing to sort of sit if you just want to do a little bit of crafting but you're just not your head space is not you know you're just a bit overwhelmed, not sure where to start, not sure what to do, but you want to just play with paper and feel paper. This is the best. Yes. You can just chop paper. <laughs> Good. Regina's chopping some and keeping some. Good. And that's what you can do. You can keep one piece as backup. Or chop one whole pack and have another back backup pack. Whatever helps you to overcome our chopping issues. So let's do some cards with these, should we? I'll show you how we can do some little variations once we've chopped. <laughs> Rick, I may or may not have ordered all three sets of the card template tutorials. They're very handy they really are because it just helps you to understand all the different measurements in the world because it's very confusing I'll put up the link here for you so card templates they're called and they give you lots of I think we've got 22 layers at the moment card templates tutorial so you have to cut them yourself because it's helping you learn. I've realized I was taking away the learning aspect from people by cutting it for them. Plus we ran out of time. There was too many people ordering them. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to run my Stampin' Up! business. I'll be chopping card templates for life. <laughs> yes, being, there's a lot of scrapbookers. And if you're a scrapbooker, one pack for card making, one pack for scrapbooking. And then you could even do one pack for 3D cards if you really, really think that the 6x12 isn't going to be enough. But most times I've tried it and I, I haven't had an issue once I've chopped my paper. Even at this size, the um, Poppy Parade layer size, I've actually found that you can just kind of stick like stick it together and like have, have a, a gap rather than you know, wrapping a whole piece around, you can just create panels and it seems to be fine as well. So what do we think? We're going to go with this base. We can choose all sorts of different base colours, right? Because in this pack of paper on the back, 
it will tell you all of your colors so in here we've got basic black by the way you can get this paper if you spend ninety dollars in our online store you get it for free yes please i'll have it for free so we've got basic black we've got crush curry daffodil delight evening evergreen flirty flamingo mint macaron mossy meadow pale papaya pear pizzazz and very vanilla so lots and lots of colors oh just message me rick and i'll make sure that you have an update Megan's a severe perfectionist. This is very good for perfectionists. It will tell you exactly what to chop. Yes. <laughs> oh, Leslie said she did her first YouTube live and it was chopping card in insides in the US and UK sizes. Ah, very good. That's excellent. So we've got lots of colors to choose from for our base because it's all about the base. <laughs> you know it's all about the base about the base now I've got all the colors here I am a little bit organized but I've pulled out all of these beautiful colors got a lot of black here what have we got crushed curry evening evergreen flirty flamingo what was this one I think that was the mint macaron wasn't it and I think I had a basic white. Oh, no, that is vanilla. But I was like, oh, it's actually vanilla, this paper. I was very surprised by that. So here we go. We've got lots and lots of beautiful colors to choose from. And so all you can do is just sort of hover over a piece. And you can see that the paper is going to completely, the cardstock base is going to completely change the look that you get from the card. I'm not a pink girl, but I'm loving this. I really love this. And then say we grab the mint macaron. So all of a sudden it just tones it right down and changes it up. So it's really cool. You can just mix out what your colors are going to be. Um, yes, Calypso Coral layer. Oh, I think you should be up to date. But anyway, just message me and I'll make sure you're up to date. We'll get you to download the latest one. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. So, yeah. And even the Pale Papaya, that's another one, I think would look gorgeous. What's this one here? I think that might be the Crushed Curry. Oh, look how fresh and gorgeous that is. <gasps> so pretty. And then I think this one, let's have a look. Oh, no, it's actually Daffodil Delight, not the Crushed Curry. So let's have a look at daffodil oh it's so bright and cheery so you can see any of these colors you can pick up out of it and that's the fun creative bit is thinking what colors you use and i think yeah then you can have a mix of different colors so let's just do because we've got six card fronts so we've got plenty to choose from we'll do some more choppy choppy and chop up our card bases which should be just chopping in half let's do that and voila it should be just half and you'll get two card bases if you're not cutting your cardstock in half then you're probably following measurements from the wrong country make sure it's half Yes, the pink and mint macaron, amazing. Yeah, all the colors, aren't they gorgeous? So that is as simple as it gets, peeps. And actually I'll keep that out because we'll use it to score our bases. So one thing I've started doing, which I really love, I'll get my tidy bone folder. It's just folded in half, like you're sort of not folding yet, you're just sort of hovering. And then you put it right up against the edge there, and then use your bone folder to score. And it's just a really easy way to score all your card bases and get it straight.
Patricia, yes, they're all beautiful colours, aren't they? Susan, ah, she's so cute. She likes my hair. I tried to curl it this morning, but I think it needs a wash because <laughs> it didn't curl. It was like, no, nah. <laughs> your hair's too heavy. I can't curl you. <laughs> I was like, all right then, we're not curling. <laughs> So Margaret said, is it just, is it best to just cut four by six, like in the new set of paper with the hexagon? Yeah, and it, it's great. And that's another thing, actually, I'm glad you bring that up, um, Margaret, because again, Stampin' Up! are listening, and that's why they've created those four by six papers, because it's just going to help us card makers not have to chop as much, which is awesome, right? We need all the help we can get, making sure that we use our designer series paper so if you have that paper you know half your job is done for you which, which is just brilliant it's so good that Stampin' Up! are seeing you know where we have pain points and how seeing how they can help us creatively they're listening so let's have a little look here now you can see here the way that I've cut this layer it does allow for that little bit of color popping behind which I really love that's why I've picked the measurements that I have you could do like a full size if you wanted to but with paper in Australia we can only do it with like a few of the papers where we do full size because unfortunately the paper isn't the size for us to be able to do the whole pack in full but I love having a little border there and that's as simple as it gets. We're going to just stick that down. And I have brand new green glue ready for this because I knew we would be doing some hardcore gluing. Yes. And so that's it. You can just do it like that. But I'll show you another little version of what we can do. Like once you have these fronts all cut, then you start creatively. You can start thinking some amazing ideas and you can think outside the square because on here we've got some beautiful paper here and so what you could do the next step or the next layer is you could cut this on a diagonal you could even cut it like not even a perfect diagonal you could just cut it like randomly totally random right let's just do a totally random one not even lining it up, just like chop. <gasps> and look at this. So we line this up like normal. Glue this like so. And you can see how it lines up. You can see where it lines up because we've already done all our measurements so that it fits everything perfectly. Now you could, you could leave this piece you could put a sentiment here or we can come in oh actually it's not going to work with this one because it's not an exact cut <laughs> but if you do this with another one exact same size you're going to get that piece left over so you can see how automatically you're starting to chop down but you'd have to do it that way so if we go like this so we'll have to do two of these ready so just line that up. Again, it's all eyeballing. Line that up and we'll know, okay, that's where it is. Chop. Just don't be afraid to chop. And then all of a sudden we've got this cool piece here that we're gonna add in. Ah, look at that. See, and we can do it for both sides. Like with the diagonal, it's a little bit tricky, but let's do it with just the I'll do another size that will show you. You can just flip. The diagonal, you can't just flip. And so you can just sort of tuck it in underneath if it's not quite right. There we go. That looks great. If you wanted to, you could probably pop some ribbon, but I really like that look. So you can see once you've got that card front, it's not like you're just stuck doing card front. You can do all sorts of different designs with this paper. Now we've got this piece here that we can use. It's going to be the other side. 
Let's get another one. I love it with the... Ooh, maybe we'll do it with the flirty, actually, because it's got that beautiful line of flirty flamingo in there. And, yeah, you could have done it this way, like where it's, you know, like that, and then a, just a small pop of of the flowers like either either I mean that looks amazing but you know this is the cool thing is when you start using it when you start loving chopping you're gonna have all of these cards ready to go and then you can just add the sentiment you know like people know that you're a card maker but they don't understand <laughs> that you don't necessarily always have cards ready to go <laughs> Yeah, I'm a card maker, but I don't have any cards. <laughs> what do you think I am? <laughs> Organised? But this is really good because you can have it all ready to go with no sentiment on there. They also don't understand how much time it takes, which, you know, that's that's a thing. So see how I've got like a little strip because I cut it a little tiny bit too short. But I actually really like that line running through the middle there. <laughs> it's really nice. So you can see here, you know, even if you wanted to really accentuate that, you just chop it down a little bit more. And then you've got this beautiful card, designed card, in an absolute flash. And then you just stick your sentiment on. Friend like, um, do you have a get well card? Sure, it's ready now. <laughs> Come over. Just stick your sentiment on. Now, the other thing that you can do which is a bit of fun, is maybe, you know, get this square. Um, so if we do 10 centimetres, because this is 10, so if you're doing in inches, do it at 4 inches and then chop. So then that's going to be a square. And then we can flip and have a piece like that. So that's another way of doing it. Isn't that cute? And then if you wanted to, you could even add a bit of ribbon here. Now, if you decide you're going to add some ribbon, which we will do now because I want to show you, then use um, like a, the same size base. You want to chop some very vanilla, just in case you see it underneath. Just do, you should not see it though. Like, just cut the same size of what we've cut the paper. And this is just to give you a something to stick it all down onto. So they're not going to see this. And we stick that down, like so. And then we stick the other one down. I hope this is giving, like, my idea is to give you lots of creative ideas and just show you that with the designer series paper, particularly if you're a new card maker, this is such a great way to introduce yourself to card making because it can be really overwhelming and to know what to do. So this paper, this um, ribbon here is absolutely perfect with this um, paper. It's called Pale Papaya and White. Uh, pale, oh yeah, pale papaya and white, and it's a woven ribbon, gorgeous ribbon, absolutely love it. So, what did someone say here? My mum got upset. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so true. People just expect us to have like cards ready. Well, now you will. You will have cards ready. <laughs> yes and it's, Leslie brings up a really good point do you know how cheap Love It Chop It is like yes okay you need to buy the card base but one pack of designer series paper gives you 72 cards 72 card bait like fronts and that's not if you take out like this little section here you could take that out and make that embossed it doesn't have to be paper um, but it's just, yeah, really affordable way to make a gorgeous card quickly, efficiently, beautifully. Like, it's just the best. 
So you could do a, a bow if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do a little knot there and then chop that down because I think this ribbon's a little bit, it's a bit bulky. So if you tried to do a bow, it might be a little bit tricky. So you can see, look at that. And then we're just going to put a sentiment on it. We'll put it on this base, I think. Oh, yes. Put on the same color as the ribbon. <gasps> so pretty. So, yeah, I'm helping you with your love it, chop it issues with ribbon as well. <laughs> love it, chop it paper, love it, chop it ribbon. And so you can see very, very simply. Do you like that one? And we'll just figure out where we put the sentiment later. But I think, you know, even in here would be just really lovely having that that base and then inside you can just do your um your piece on the inside as well a bit of cardstock and use your well, I'll show you here actually we'll do it with this one so I like this is another thing I like to do when I just need a little job you know come into my room and I cut down the inserts for the cards I did a whole stack last night um, so I did it because I usually do use the basic white. So I just, you know, sit here and do a little bit of chopping. And these are all my inserts for my card because I like to have inserts ready to go. And, oh, did I chop it down to the small size? No. So this is the same size, the Poppy Parade layer. It's the same one. As what we've been doing for our paper and that's what goes on the inside of your cards so we've got three here and all I do is I like particularly when I'm using my paper is I like to grab like these scraps whatever's here I like the the flower one and it's very technical <laughs> you can use your trimmer but a lot of times I just go like so and just get my snips and go thank you <laughs> thank you for your um perfect alignment <laughs> just be careful not to cut your actual card and then stick that down and you've got this beautiful inside piece and because we've got so much paper like when you start chopping you realize oh my goodness there is so much paper right 72 card fronts and how many of us only have one pack of paper I know I have way more than one pack of paper. <laughs> so if you have a lot of paper to use, if you have, you know, stacks sitting there, well, I'm going to do something that is going to probably make you gasp. But when you have this much paper, you need to use it. <laughs> you need to use your paper. And half, this is half our battle, right, is not knowing what where to use it. But what we're going to do is do something shocking because this is what makes cards special yes we're sticking it on the inside of the card people look at how beautiful is that when we've got 72 sheets of cards of paper why not <laughs> why not stick it on the inside as well and you could then use a, a die cut to put a sentiment in here as well because it's just beautiful. Like imagine receiving this and the whole card is decorated and you could even add a little bit to the envelope. Like everything matches. You could put it inside the envelope liner because we have so much paper. Like be honest. Look at your cupboard. <laughs> there is so much paper. <laughs> so and you can always get more. <laughs> and we do we always get more we add to the collection <laughs> so it's so so like if I received this card I would be so happy it would spark so much joy in me I'm not going to look at this and go oh my goodness Kylie was so lazy she did no stamping <laughs> no I'd be like that is beautiful thank you so much <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Charlotte, she uses it for the nursing homes. I love that idea. 
she plans ahead and then she buys two packs of the design and then does up a whole lot a stack of cards i love it that is brilliant and you feel so accomplished and how beautiful to to give it to the nursing home like that that is so special charlotte that's exactly what love it chop it's all about you know having a whole stack of cards ready to go and then making a huge impact to other people because there's something about the fact that we've used paper you know and it's quite quick to make these cards we're not as attached to them it's not emotionally taxing to then give them away because that's another layer it's like we keep them <laughs> we have to do the insides no nudie runs <laughs> no nudie nudies look it's not nudie at all <laughs> no nudie um but yes it's really important to get them out send them out and love it chopper is perfect for sending cards i think it's just really really important particularly in the times we live in now people need cards people <laughs> we have a special gift and we need to use it so you know do a whole stack of love it chop it and oh i know it would just mean so much to so many people oh susan helping your granddaughter that's so sweet so i've grabbed a whole stack of sentiment um steps that's here that i want to show you that you may have missed but we've got the lighthearted lines and these are really good because you can have ones that are just sentiments. So for those of you that are new to card making, all you're going to need is a stack of paper, a stack of cardstock that matches your paper. So look at the paper, see what colors are there and then go with one or two colors that is the same as the paper because the paper tells us what cardstock to use. And then you just need one stamp set that has lots of fantastic sentiments in it that you can use for all sorts of different things. So Biggest Wish, you've got Sunny Sentiments. The Celebrating You stamp set is a fantastic one because that has lots of great ones on there. Happy Anniversary, You're Every Bit of Wonderful, Thanks, Congratulations, So Proud of You. There's really great ones in there. But there's also the Inspired Thoughts. That's another one as well that's fantastic for all your sentiments. And at the moment, if you spend uh, $180 in Australia, if you spend over $180, you can get this one for free. So this one is fantastic because it's all of those sentiments that we need and it's all there and in polymer. I really, really love it when it's clear for sentiments. <laughs> My daughter says, hi, my name's Dorothy and I'm a paper hoarder. <laughs> love it, chop it, stresses her out. Oh, you'll get there, Dorothy. You can do it. <laughs> hi, my name's Kylie. I'm a recovering paper hoarder. <laughs> I now love to love it, chop it. <laughs> I'm a love it, chop it fan. <laughs> So we're going to use this special moments. So let's have a look at some of these. Now I can highly recommend when it comes to, um, you know, cutting these out, you could just cut them out by hand. If you don't have one of the stamp and cut and emboss machines, that's fine. Stamp it on some very vanilla because we've got very vanilla backing here and, you know, stamp it down. Or it could even be some of these beautiful colors that you use, the mint macaron, whatever you want to use. Even the pale papaya would be gorgeous to stamp on. So whatever you decide to do, even the evening evergreen and then embossing, so good. But you can keep it simple. Just stamp, chop. You don't need anything else. But if you wanted to, you could step it up and maybe add one of the punches into your cart. Um, some great punches that I could recommend. What have we got here? I think the tailored tag punch is probably one of my favorites. Like there's the tailored tag. This one here, is that ovals, that one? You guys will know the name of that one. Uh, what's another really good one for sentiments? Oh yeah, there's a few over here. What's this one? But these are really good for love it, chop it. This one, label me lovely. We've got the postage stamp one. 
So have a look in your catalogs for like the punt, because these are really good to use with sentiments. I think for this particular set, this one's a good one to use. So let's just pop these over here. I've got, I've pulled out so much stuff. <laughs> I've, got, I've got everything. Oh, even that one. I love this one. This would have to be one of my favourite punches. We'll keep that one out too. <laughs> but if you wanted to step it up and you want to go for something using the stamp and cut and emboss machine, well, there are so many beautiful dies that you can use. And one here that I wanted to show you and highlight is this one here, which is the Many Messages. Now, this one's really good because I've already cut it out here. So you get all of these here and you can use your Stamparatus to line, like have, have this base here and line up which one you want to chop out. I'll show you that. So, you know, for those of you that are new, chop it with scissors or a punch. For those of you that are a little bit more advanced, I know we've got a lot of advanced stampers here, but you can do some of this beautiful chopping with the um with the dies and we've got a lot of beautiful background type stamps as well that you can use so like your seasonal label dies these is this is actually continued this one and a lot of people don't realize this was from the holiday catalog but it's continued oh we've got some spammers in the house let's do i don't know how to I think it's hide user. Did that work? Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, love face. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, do you like stamping up, love face? <laughs> um, this one's really good for your edges. Yeah, I blocked the spam. <laughs> uh, tasteful label dies is a really good one as well for that background base. These ones are new, the beautiful shapes, really great for sentiments. And you know, that circle is really cool. Hippo and Friends is just like a must have for me. Absolutely love this as a background. Cause you imagine when you, when you um, chop out these dies, even if it's just a small sentiment, you can see here the way it sits, like it covers some of that paper, but it that's just like if you want to add something more, right? Oh, thank you all so much. You're all so cute. You're watching out for us. Block the troll. <laughs> but yeah, these are really good for layering. Even if you wanted to say add in, there's that beautiful daffodil um, die. So if you wanted to step up your lover chop it and not just have the, the paper only, the paper only is fine with the sentiment perfect great you know you can see here you know perfectly acceptable <laughs> lovely but if you wanted to step it up that extra layer you could add one of these dies and then you could add your beautiful daffodil die and then a small sentiment as well so those layering background um, sort of dies are really good for that extra layer so your scallop contours your rectangle dies the seasonal label dies, they're all really good for that sort of background layer. And then the hippo dies. So any of those, or all of them, <laughs> whatever you prefer. <laughs> I mean, I love them all. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Don't make me choose. <laughs> but I really love those bigger ones for Love It Chop It because it enables you to then, you know, step it up again. So this is beginning and it's per it's lovely. Nothing wrong with this. Add a sentiment, gorgeous. But if you want to do that next step up, for those of you that are more advanced, then that's the way to do it. And even with these sort of sentiment type ones as well, you, you would want to layer it. So you could have, you know, those background type ones and then have your, your sentiment layered over the top of it just to make it pop. Oh, the hippo dies are the best, aren't they, Sue? You think, what did I do without these in my life? They're so good. <laughs> and the other new one, which I thought would be lovely for Love It, Chop It, 
is the new here for you dies and I just think they're such a beautiful um, set um, that would be perfect with one of those layered let's have a look and see exactly which one would fit nicely I think it might be the large hippo or oh, maybe the seasonal label dies oh look at that because it won't matter if it's sort of sticking out a little bit <clears throat> But you can even probably cut that out. I wonder if it would cut okay with the foam sheets. Because that would be cool to have that sort of standing up like that. So it would be like that. Isn't that the coolest die? And to have that, you know, here for you. And you could just cut a whole stack of them out. That's something that you can do in front of the TV or, you know, something a bit fun to do. Um, that's, yeah, getting lots of these ready to go. For your love it chop it it's a really fun process because you're doing bulk cards <clears throat> so you can sort of stick with the one thing and then just churn out a whole stack of them and it just feels so good you feel so accomplished when you do it yes megan you need the hippo dice <laughs> yes jennifer get it soon <laughs> get it today <laughs> so i think that's the only one that fits this size this one, this biggest layer here is actually not too bad because it wouldn't matter if it's sticking out on the sides. And what about this one? Yeah, even that large one on that side is actually not bad either. And then if you have a look, like the rectangle dies, you don't want to cover too much of the card though. You still want to have that beautiful paper showing. And what about the seasonal label dies? This one's probably a little bit big. Let's have a look. The seasonal label because this one's got two lots it's a very yeah it's good this one oh it's actually not too bad but it is a very large shape that one so that one's a really nice one that one would fit really well with that die so this is brand new this die they're here for you and it comes with all those new neutral blends so if you haven't seen all the brand new neutral blends, I was actually playing with them today because they're absolutely amazing. Hence why I'm telling you I've got everything out on my table. <laughs> There's so much here. If Breno walks in, he's going to be like, what happened in this room? It's a crafter mark. <laughs> but yes, these are absolutely gorgeous. And they're released now. Like this month, they just came out. So really great for our skin coloring but also for all sorts of different cards like you can see some of these colors would go really nicely even with our paper that we're using today so that's all available on the online store if you if you live in australia you can get them from us and you get all the goodies to go with it what about this one here see even that one wouldn't be bad it's just giving it like a little layer behind but this one here, probably if I used this one, you could do it in vellum so that you're still getting, you know, you're sort of hiding that background, but still getting the background. You don't want to hide it too much. Yes, Judy's literally just said it. Could you cut the hippo die out of vellum? And then you can see the pump. Judy, <laughs> we're on the same path. <laughs> So Nessa just asked this here for you. I'll just show you it on the online store because it's a brand new item. And Stampin' Up! are bringing out a few new sort of um, early release items. And there's a lot going on. So a lot of people have missed this one. So let me share my screen with you so that you can see exactly what to look for on the store, depending on what country you're in. Just pop those over there and go to my store. So if you go to kyliebatucci.com and then just shop now. Um, let me share my screen here. Ah, I don't have my screen. There we go. And then we'll click on that one. Love. There we go. So, um... You can see what's new. It'll have it in there, new arrivals. Um, and then you can you know, shop new ones. But it's actually part of the All Together bundle. Um, so if you click on All Together, it'll bring this section here open. 
and you can see the whole collection here if you scroll down here's the new stamp set which actually has really really beautiful um, sentiments in here they're absolutely beautiful love changes everything every act of kindness changes the world we'll get through this together you matter to me it's really beautiful and you can see the samples that stampin up have done like these beautiful um skin tones that you can use really really pretty and then there's beautiful paper that goes with it as well so you can see here the dyes the blends and then the paper is really cool because it's all black and white so this is available now you can go to the store and get any of these now um, and you know this paper here if you want it for card making exactly the same principle applies use your poppy parade size that we use today you'll be left with a strip a fairly large strip but that's okay you could do just a card that has you know one strip of paper oh look at that paper so pretty so lots of really great designs and you can color it for whatever you know whatever you want to do you have me a paper <laughs> and the paper monster <laughs> so yes you can get all the blends together the whole collection which yeah i actually did this one <laughs> i did the whole suite which is the paper the stamp set the blends and the dies and if you wanted to um you can add that to your starter kit if you want to join stampin up it's 169 dollars is what you pay but so you're only going to pay $169 to get this and you'll have extra because you get $235 of any product you want. So <laughs> let's do the math for you. <laughs> Should I do the math for you? Calculator. <laughs> let's calculate this. <laughs> so what is it? 180, oh, 184.50. So you get $235 of anything you want. 184.50 means you still have $50.50 50 to spend. So you get this for $169 plus you get another $50.50 .50 free plus free postage. Oh, and by the way, you get two free stamp sets of your choice at the moment. <laughs> it's a no brainer to join. It really is. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I digress but I just wanted to show you that because a lot of people have missed that beautiful die and those extra um, products because yeah the all together stamp set yes <laughs> so let's try it like what Judy mentioned if we do do a the hippo die and then I want to use this here for you um, die to see what it looks like because you know we want a complete one at least <laughs> let's do one one card completed and you know, you'll see all of these cards because it doesn't take long once you decide what you how you're going to layer it or what sentiment you're going to use it comes together very quickly but you can still be creative i think some people think i oh, love it chop it might be like a cheats way Nah, it's just giving you parameters to work within it's giving you a starting point it gives you the colors it gives you um you know like a base to begin with and i think that's probably the key with card making is sometimes we just don't know where to start it's like where do i even begin i, I want to do some crafting but i don't know what exactly i'm doing well love it chop it gives you that parameter and makes it a whole lot easier so i've got some vellum here conveniently I also have my stamp and cut and emboss machine here conveniently uh, I will need to remove this though so there you go we saw them I will show you how to use something with them hopefully by the end of today where can I move it to I think I'll pop it on it's not really going to move fluidly <laughs> I will forgive it we'll forgive you little ones they're very, very useful, those many messages, guys. So there, and there's our other plate. And there's our vegulum, as Bruno calls it, <laughs> for fun. 
<coughs> and our die. So let's do that. We do have new plates somewhere. I think it's about time. We've had these for a while. So I'll just do a couple of these while we're at it. And then we'll do our here for you die. And I think we'll do I think we'll do it in basic black or maybe even evening evergreen. Let's have a little look. The basic black will look hot. <clears throat> like really, really nice. And it is something that you could use with um, the adhesive sheets. If you have the adhesive sheets, especially on the vellum, it actually comes up quite good. <clears throat> so that's good. Yeah, I've got some basic black here. Is that one cut to the right size? Yes. And we'll get, I want to try the foam adhesive sheets, to be honest. I want to see if they they actually cut something as detailed as this because you know it's trial and error <laughs> it's all it's all the fun bits right so I've got foam adhesive sheets <clears throat> and we've got the adhesive sheets Ooh, we need oh, I think we've got some more foam adhesive there somewhere so let's have a little looky. So what you can do just to get the right size, because you don't want to stick the whole thing down if you don't need to. So you can just choppy chop chop. And then chop on the we're gonna chop along there so we know where it is. <coughs> This will be a very interesting experience. So we'll do one with this. So I think we do, yes, we do that, but don't take the backing off, okay? So that's still got sticky on it. And we're gonna cut on this side. So let's do that first. Make sure that you've got it in the right place. So I like to do it in a corner. And then we'll see see if this works see if it cuts out i like the foam adhesive sheets they really to be honest they really surprised me because i was like there's no way that's gonna cut out and i don't know if it'll cut this out we'll see this is the best way to find out right i'll do the trial and error for you <laughs> so it's you know it's quite firm you can feel it really like struggling but it's you know push through it and it's your usual sandwich. <clears throat> so if I see this at the back, it's actually pretty good. But the only thing I'm concerned about are these little small bits here. What's going to happen with them? Ooh -hoo -hoo. <clears throat> so it's quite... Um, fine so let's have a look here hmm. I think it actually has done okay let me just move this and show you actually we'll do the other side I'll just cut this so that we can do the other edge I'm going to technically cut it <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's crooked with this uh, and I'll just do the adhesive sheets and cut that <clears throat> so these are our adhesive sheets and this just makes life a whole lot easier with particularly with these sort of dies that are a little bit fine so if you peel this off the part that's sticky is the part that you peel off okay so you just go like the sorry. And again, with this, before you peel this off, you can actually check how much you need. But I can tell here that I'm probably only needed um, that half. So you can even cut it down as well to, to fit your needs. But let's see if maybe this way. 
yeah we'll just chop it to there just so you're not using it all because the chances of us coming back are like slim to none <laughs> coming back and using the rest of the adhesive that's on here unless you do it at the mo in the moment usually the moment's gone so line that up because we like to we don't want to waste things right run that through let's have a look here So with the um, adhesive, I'll just remove this from the table. With the adhesive sheets, it does, it's a little bit thicker than usual because you've put your sheets down. So you just need to check that it's gone all the way through. Okay, so let's have a look at both of these. Let's compare the pair <laughs> and test out what worked. And you can see here with the vellum, it's just so, so pretty. And it's going to be exactly what we need to just neutralize that zone and give that a beautiful layer, but then still see the paper, which is really nice. Great idea, Judy. Up there for thinking. Now, this one's quite detailed because you have these little pieces, these extra pieces here. You know, it's really, really cool. I love that it's got that little extra piece. But when you start peeling, those pieces will just come out. So you don't need to peel them off first. Just peel the backing and they should hopefully come with it. So let's just grab a little edge here. And if you don't have nails, then use your take your pick tool. And even if you want to, because this is quite sticky, your um, adhesive, um, what's it called, our silicon mat is very handy. When things get sticky, adhesive mat and our little take your pick tool come in very, very handy because you don't want this sticking to you. So that's a really good way. And you may even want to grab some tweezers that could be another little idea for you but yeah you want to be quite delicate with this one so you can see why the adhesive sheets would be really handy because you can see that this the space left to actually get your glue is a lot it's very slim pull those little pieces out <clears throat> oh, I love faces back again. I clearly didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> How do I get rid of him forever? <laughs> I probably just did put user in time out. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I want to actually remove them. So I'm not sure how Bruno usually does that. <laughs> uh, hide user on this channel. Unless... I don't know, maybe they create new accounts. Wouldn't surprise me. Some people need to get a life, don't they? <laughs> Go and do something productive with your life. Go and make cards and send them to nursing homes. <laughs> Be a kind person. <laughs> Patty, go away, love face. <laughs> I love your face, love face. <laughs> Now, I don't know why this little piece here has got white on it. I don't know what's attached there. See how this has got... I think it might have been like residual from the foam maybe? I don't know. Paper? Maybe there was some paper on my stamp and cut and emboss machine. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing surprises me around here. <laughs> so. I think that all looks good. Oh, there's a little bit here in the O. 
that needs to come out. Yeah, normally I can block him, but um, yeah, Lisa would be very proud of me getting my my silicon mat out. Yeah, normally the option says to block, but for some reason I don't have that option. Maybe now that I've put him in timeout. All it says is unhide user or put user in timeout. Or maybe I, maybe reporting him will be the way to get rid of him. I don't know. It's very strange. Normally I can say block. Because at the moment it's saying he's only got three. Anyway, I won't say how long he's got because he might start commenting again. <laughs> Go away. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Look at that. It's a really cool die, isn't it? And let's see what happened to this one. <laughs> let's see if this one did what it was meant to do. I love trialing these things, right? It's all trial and error. Does it hurt or help if we block him first? Not sure. <laughs> Jesse, they stuck around. They must have enjoyed the crafting. <laughs> uh, maybe we've converted Love Face. Love Face, do you want to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? You could use your time to build a very successful business. <laughs> if you put your time into something productive, you may achieve amazing things in your life. <laughs> You'd be surprised what, what can happen for you. <laughs> come on, little one. I'm being very careful because I want this to come away without ripping. <clears throat> I feel like I need another beverage. I need another sip of my coffee. Come here, little one. Come to, come to Kylie. Now, the only challenge with this one, let's put it on the silicon mat. <clears throat> The only challenge I see with this is getting out our little pieces and what that's going to look like. But I am shocked, like genuinely shocked, that this has cut this fine sentiment out. And it actually looks like it's going to work. Look at this, people. I'm without speech. <laughs> I, can't, I actually did not think this would work at all. And look at this. It's peeling out that little section. Because <clears throat> that was the bit that I thought, oh, there's no way that it's going to cut through that tiny little piece. But look at this. And obviously it's a little bit of surgery. You know, this is, this is not for the faint-hearted. But this is if you want, like, a another layer. <clears throat> and, yes, I saved the scraps, Jodie. Yep. Unless it's strips of paper, I'm not interested, love face. <laughs> Unless you're telling me about craft supplies. <laughs> you get them on your Seattle streams. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Here we go. Surgery people. Clear. Have I got the one out there? Yes, I did. This one. <coughs> I must need to eat something. I think that's why I've got frog in my throat. Either that, it's all my talking. Ooh, this one looks like he's, I oh, know, he's good. Oh, it sounds like there's a dog being attacked out there. He's having a good old bark. Let's pull that one away. So yeah, it's a little bit, you know, it's not something I probably would do all the time, but we'll see what the final effect is, looks like and if it's worth this amount of effort. <laughs> That's what gauges. It's like when I cook food, right? Was it worth making that pasta? Yes, I'm going to make pasta again. <laughs> yes, it was worth it. It's got to, it's got to actually add up to the work involved, right? But this looks pretty amazing. 
I like doing it on the silicon mat. I think if I didn't have this and my take your pick tool, I would be in a lot of trouble. I would have ripped it by now for sure. It's quite cathartic, really. It's part of our love it, chop it healing process. <laughs> I can't believe it's cut this. I really am shocked. So if you don't have those foam sheets, I uh, highly recommend them. They're like amazing. So I'm just, this one here, I'm a little bit, I don't know what that piece in there is. Oh yeah, there we go. So I think we've got everything. Just the... I can't believe it cut out even that little E. What? I'm shocked. Okay, moment of truth, peeps. Here we go. Here for you. Come here, little one. And it's good on the um, silicon mat because it's not going to take away the, um, the stick. Just notice there's another one here that needs to come out. Be very careful not to stab yourself. <laughs> I started doing that and I'm like, Kylie, you're going to stab your finger. I could, I could see it now. It's like waiting in slow motion. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier on the silicon mat. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Wowza. <laughs> you should see this. It looks so beautiful. I am actually very impressed. <clears throat> would I do it for a lot of cards? No. It would be just for my special peeps. <clears throat> just for my special ones. But that looks amazing. And I cannot believe that it cut all of that out. There is no way. I was like, Kylie, what are you doing? This is going to be a train wreck. <laughs> Why are you doing this live? <laughs> yes, yes. Good call, Megan. Everyone said the black, the black sheets would be good. Although I don't mind having that little bit of contrast, but that's actually a really good point. If you wanted to, maybe Stampin' Up! needs to bring out black sheets. <laughs> maybe that's the next thing we can sandbox, right? I don't mind it, but yeah, that would be very cool. But you know, if I was to compare those two, like from a camera point of view, um, what you guys can see, it probably isn't a huge difference, but, you know, here in person, it's, yeah, it's very cool. And it's just, yeah, if you want a little bit of a challenge and a different technique, knock yourself out. Go for it. <clears throat> now, does this fit on here? Ah, oh, it does. I don't know if I want it with that one, though. I think... It's too big for that space. I'll use something different on here. This one, the, the main one, it could be really good on. But I think it needs something to ground it. So like something like this to come along and ground it. Rather than just sort of floating. Or even if that was on like coloured cardstock, I think that that would look really good as well. Um, but yeah, I think this one is definitely for these dots. I think the diagonal will be nice because it will show that background piece. But I think for that full one, yeah, go for, go for colour. But I think for these it looks really good. And then we'll add the little dimensionals. And if you're going to stick this down, uh, where did I put my little glue. Where's my green glue? <laughs> can, you, can you see me? <laughs> Where are you? Found it! 
and no lid, so it's got to be stuck. <laughs> Thanks for looking, everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've been doing this for almost two hours. That's hilarious. <laughs> so we'll just put little dots behind the words. It was very fun today. I couldn't help myself. Do we have some love it, chop it peeps, people putting the hashtag so that they can win the win the pin? I'm gonna go up and pick some pick some peeps. Well actually I'll, I'll go through it afterwards because I have to make sure that you're all Aussie. Ah, actually I'll pick it I'll pick you now and then I'll ask. Because you you'll either win a tutorial bundle or you'll win the Love It, Chop It pin. So I can do that. Ah, oh, so pretty. I really like that die. That's really cool. But, you know, again, you could use, you know, there's even this one here, You Matter. That one would be really nice as well. Everyone wants to know that they matter. Yeah. And even those ones that I showed you with the dies, these ones here. So even those would be really beautiful with it because I've got like the background piece to go with it. So they're excellent. They would be really good for the full, the full ones because they've got the background to go with it. So lots of cool ideas. So you can keep Love It, Chop It simple. And you could go advanced, like you can step it up, you can add layer, you can, so you can keep it simple, but then you can move into other areas too. <clears throat> yes, you can stop looking for the green glue now. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. So what have we got here? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, good, good. But hopefully, I just really, really hope, my main goal today was hoping that some of you will get your love it, chop it happening and to really enjoy the process of chopping. And just for those that are new, that you've got sort of layers of um, how you can start stepping it up. Because we've got a lot of new ones that have actually joined us in terms of crafting with us for the first time. And I think it's really nice just to have like some options that, you know, adding the ribbon is like another step up. Um, but just adding the designer series paper and the cardstock, it just keeps things really simple and easy. Um, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be complicated. Like even this one here, you know, we took a little bit of time adding this and stepping it up. But if we wanted to, so we've got these six here. So if we wanted to, we can look at this and go, oh, this would be beautiful, I think, with the evening evergreen, which I never thought I'd hear myself say, let's use an evening evergreen base. But I think it will look gorgeous. Even the, um, oh, look at that. Stanza. So pretty. There's also the crushed curry. I think that that's crushed curry there. Let's have a look. Uh, is this the yeah this is the crushed curry mm, look it's probably a little bit bright for me that one maybe the daffodil toning it down a little bit might yeah that actually is quite nice oh no I think this is crushed curry here I think this one might be the wrong colour I think that's pumpkin I don't think I grabbed daffodil to be honest I think this is crushed curry here that looks really good. That's why that one doesn't look so good. Because <laughs> it's the wrong colour. <laughs> so if we just do one, two, three, four, five, six. So watch this. So say we've just chopped one sheet of paper. Bang. That took like, what, a couple of minutes? Didn't it? Not even? <laughs> then we come in and we do our bases and I like to have mine running like so but you can chop it the other way whatever way you prefer whether it's the 
the narrow side or the thick side. So chop that. And then do the scoring. Where's our little... Okay, who took the bone folder? <laughs> Where did you go, bone folder? <laughs> Come back to me. <laughs> Come here, little one. <laughs> and I've got, I've got two here somewhere. As I said, it's a crafter math. Bruno will be like, "What have you done?" Oh, don't go over there, green glue. I'll end up losing you next. <gasps> Found him. Can start looking, everyone. So. <laughs> Bowl. So you can see just how quickly we can make these beautiful, beautiful Love It Chop It cards. And like Charlotte did with the nursing home, what a beautiful idea. Yay, go Leslie. She's going to love it, chop it tomorrow. That's my number one goal achieved. If I can hear that you've done a big stack of cards and you've maybe thought about some neighbours in your community or, you know, maybe you can drop it off at a nursing home, maybe even a school, because parents are doing it really hard right now. Man, I feel for ones that have got kids during this time. It's very, very challenging times. And then all I'm going to do, very simply, and this is just like craziness, but we can just pick something nice here. I think something up in the corner here. Um, I think for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. But we can do all different sentiments. There it is there. I've got a block. But again, you could use your Stamparatus to just, you know, stamp it, stamp it and go for it. And because it's um, this stamp set is clear, it's brilliant because we just look up in the corner here. I probably should have used a stamp and pierce mat, but pretend I did. Boom! If you wanted to, you could add some ribbon here, but let's just see what it looks like without it. Oh, I'm opening up my new glue. <laughs> I've got glue everywhere. <laughs> Jan. Jan's completed eight cards with, with us today. <sighs> Makes me so happy. <laughs> Love it, Chopper is the best. Look at this, people. Ta da! <laughs> Isn't that the best? It's so good. So, if you're just feeling like you're in a bit of a rut, you know, you're not sure what you want to make, um, you know, this is just the best way. To get out a stack of cards. There we go. Stick that down. And you just feel so accomplished. And if you in turn get this to like a nursing home or to someone in need or a neighbour, you're just going to feel so good. So I actually don't mind. This is a good tip, in fact, now that we've done this. I reckon chop it from the base. You know, when you saw me chopping, leave more leave more of that vanilla. Because I think it's great to have extra, to be honest. I think having the higher vanilla, now that we're stamping directly on here, I think that that's the way to go. Boom. <laughs> How are we going? You finished Love It Shop at Kathy? Woohoo! You made welcome cards? Oh, so good. That's brilliant. Feels so good, doesn't it, to get it all done? And then we've got this. Yeah. 
yes and then this one we can even do this one sort of in the center and this one I'm going to do the same pop it in there isn't that the best <gasps> so good yes please do Leslie pop it up and it's just so awesome I love it on that evening evergreen isn't that beautiful <gasps> and you can do this with any paper like instead of stamping directly onto the paper you can um, just add a sentiment just cut it out and stick it down whatever you prefer there we go can you believe it six cards boom I feel accomplished and how long did that take me did everyone time me boom <clears throat> and then we'll just do the inserts isn't that amazing <laughs> well, that's why I love a chop it is so cool because you can get so much done you can feel so accomplished and have lots of fantastic cards ready to go and people are gonna love them they're gonna love you they'll be like oh, you made me a card oh thank you people need it yay Oh, it was so lovely spending time with you all. Can you tell I don't want to go? <laughs> don't go! <laughs> Stay! <laughs> I'll decorate these later. Because you can add, like, embellishments if you wanted to, or just leave them as is. Like, keep it really simple. And you can see it's just so pretty. Yay! Love it, chop it! Minutes. You saw me. Minutes. But if you want to step up, then you can do those stepped up versions if you want to. Totally up to you what you want to do. It's just the best. So much flexibility and so many ideas of what you can do. It's just getting that original chop down, whether it's four by six or whether you're doing it exactly to the, the base. Yeah, exactly. Charlotte said if you mess up, then just put a label on top. And she knows because it, it clearly happened. <laughs> so someone said here, I, I don't have the Daffodil DSP yet, but I'm working on the Love It Chop It with the Friendly Hello. The Friendly Hello paper is beautiful. That's another celebration one. Yes, I know. It's so beautiful. So if you want to um, have a look at all the celebration items, um, I'm pretty sure... What have they got in celebration section? I don't know if they actually have it listed under celebration. I think they've got it on the main page, but not, which is actually quite unusual. Uh, sweet talk, no, it doesn't have the celebration items. So I think the best way to find them, shop products, hmm. we'll have to give Stampin' Up a little bit of a heads up. So can we have a celebration section please on the website so we can see what we can get for free? Because I think you can search for the items. Maybe if I just type celebration, it'll come up the items. Yes, it worked. There we go. I'll show you this. So if you type celebration, then you can see all of the stamp sets that you can get for free or paper that you can get for free at the moment. So this is the Friendly Hello paper that, um, was it Judy that said she was working with it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the name, but this is beautiful. And this is a freebie with a $180 order. You get the stamp set as well. Yeah, there's lots to collect. This Carmen Camellia, oh my goodness, is so pretty. But that's with a $500 order. We had someone this morning score themselves that one. Good for them. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and the daffodil paper, this is what we use today. Isn't it just stunning? So pretty. So yeah, happy shopping everyone. I hope you get to come in here and grab a few freebies while they're available. And yeah, check it out. 
if you need anything we're living in Australia we had someone join our team yesterday which was very exciting so if you want to get a few um, like $66 for free and two free stamp sets then you can join our team and get that deal at the moment and that's on our blog kyliebatucci.com oh good Kathy yes get shopping <laughs> yes I love my paper did I help you with your therapy today That'll be $80, thank you. No, what is, what's the psychologist? That'll be $200, thank you, for the therapy today. Thank you. And would you like to book for next week? Excellent. I'll help you to learn how to feel your energy. <laughs> what is triggering you when you chop paper? What is it that, that you're afraid of? There's no such thing as failure, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you thought you had 12 packs we have 18 i love it judy that's hilarious how did that happen you did a very good shop <laughs> so um yeah come and join our creative day that's the next thing coming up in march end of march and make sure you've signed up to get the info um that's the uh, link here online stamping retreat so that's the link sign up and if you missed our pansy event uh, the creative day in that we did with Cheryl we have a recording available we've had quite a few uh, purchase the recording so definitely head over there and get that recording if you need some if you can't wait till March and you need something now to get you going that's almost seven hours of content of crafting there and you get to be part of our Creative Day in Facebook group, lots of support. So we've got lots of things to help you creatively and to keep you entertained. We need entertainment right now. We're not traveling as much as we used to, so. <laughs> Cheaper than my shrink. <laughs> Good, we need a laugh. I hope I gave you a few laughs today. Where's my glue? Someone find my glue. <laughs> Yes. Oh, big hugs to you all. Thank you so much for being here and we shall see you next week for more fun. We're off to a Zoom wedding now, a friend's Zoom wedding. So I probably should make a wedding card, hadn't I? <laughs> I probably should have done that this morning. I can use one of these cards. Maybe, maybe I'll need to do this for the... <laughs> I'm here for you, okay? <laughs> Once you get married, <laughs> we'll be here for you. We'll give you support. <laughs> and I will pick some winners because I can't actually see them on the live, but I will pick some winners for our Love It Chopper. So look out, look out on your emails and your messages to see if you've won a Love It Chopper pin or a free tutorial. Yee, that's